everyone, welcome back to Lucky by Nature, Angelic Vixen here. Today's video is basically, you know, exploring the new Ragnarok Desert expansion, and I'm really excited to kind of see how this area ends up comparing to Scorched Earth. So, you know, I'm kind of trying to give you the best aerial view possible. This area really reminds me of Scorched Earth. You know, some of the areas further out don't really look like Scorched Earth to me. I mean, they do, but they're just different, but this area in particular really seems to stand out. So yeah, like right over here, this kind of looks like by green, I guess you could say by green. Well, at least that's what it reminds me of in Scorched Earth by green. We used to hang out over there quite a bit um, during the Lucky Strikes Back series. <laughs> um, so yeah, this definitely looks a lot like uh, Scorched Earth and I'm just kind of getting lower so we can kind of see here. I think the Ragnarok devs actually outdid themselves because I didn't think it was actually going to look this good just because of the delays in getting the desert biome actually open. And of course, I went over there when I was able to get through the barrier wall. And of course, it didn't look anything like this because they really hadn't worked on it yet. But yeah, this, as you go down here, this is actually really nice. I want to kind of show you ground level. So I'm just, every once in a while, I might check to see, yeah, like here, to see if they've added any new plants, because I know that they've said a couple of times that they were going to, but I just want to see if they, you know, if I find anything. Oh, look, check you out. I like your color. Ooh, I like your color too. I think I'm going to have to come back and get you guys. So let's just go through here and look around. Nothing really, you know, all that different from Scorched Earth. Um, this is basically, you know, the typical look of scorched earth so let me go back up and kind of give another view i'm hoping to find something really exciting i know that they said that there's supposed to be a lot more metal you know resources of that nature over here so i'm kind of hoping that that you know is really good i kind of hope that they block it off oh that's a waterfall let's go check out the waterfall um i hope they block it off so you can't build wherever the metal spawns quite a bit kind of like um the metal spawn here on Ragnarok further over the one inside the cave and of course you can't build in the cave and you can't build for like several feet you know from the actual cave entrance so this looks like it's a cave like we can go in here I like that Ragnarok has so many caves I think that that is really exciting okay so that's nice you can actually get sea life over here a bunch of sharks this looks really cool. I like this. Yeah, this is really nice. This is actually very nice. I'm hoping I find everything while I'm, you know, searching, but sometimes because this map is so enormous, you can miss stuff. So I apologize in advance if I miss anything. I am going to try to, like, follow it all the way through just to show you everything. This one's pretty nice, too. I like that they always have, like, stone bridges and stuff. I like that a lot because it's found quite a bit in Ragnarok. I think the Ragnarok devs are actually really creative because they make things look so different in some places that you can't find on other maps. Like their creativity is so different. And I think that's what's exciting about people who make these maps is you get kind of their personality shining through. And clearly they like, you know, Norse mythology to do this map, you know, Ragnarok. And of course, all of the Norse writing and things and the mythology is clearly going to follow some sort of you know, Norse mythology. So that's something that I always really appreciated about Ragnarok, that it's so different. All right, so let's go this way and let's go out. And I did fast forward some parts because I just didn't want to make this video, you know, ridiculously long. Um, I want to show you as much as possible, but anything like me running around, I'm going to try to like cut that back. So let's go over this way, kind of see what we're dealing with. And I know that this is supposed to, I think they said three parts for the desert biome, and that this particular part is supposed to be the, I believe they said the easiest, like the best conditions, and then they're going to have really bad conditions in the other desert biome areas that they're going to be, you know, putting out. 
I know previously they talked about having it so that there's like quicksand and um, that there's areas that it's so hot that it'll kill you almost instantly. It's kind of like the concept of what they call the murder, murder snow. Basically, even when you're wearing really good fur, you're basically dying. Um, so when I have to go into the what they call the murder, murder snow, um, I always bring like medical brew and things of that nature to kind of help my health because, I mean, what can you possibly do? You can only do so many things to protect yourself and it is beneficial to actually go into those areas. So I think... Um, whatever they put into the really dangerous desert is going to be really good loot or possibly, you know, fighting a boss or all these things. And actually with Ragnarok, one of the things that I like is they kind of think outside the box. And when I say they think outside the box, I mean, basically that, you know, they've talked about making an underground or underwater, um, like boss something like Atlantis. And I think that's really creative because we don't really have anything like that. You know, we've never experienced that. And clearly when aberration comes, you know, it's not going to be something like that. So I think Ragnarok's going to fill in a lot of areas where maybe Wildcard was lacking because they only have so much creativity. And clearly, you know, with these mods, they're going to get people in thinking differently, doing things differently, utilizing all this stuff completely different. And I love that. And I actually really love exploring the different maps and the mods because, you really don't know what you're going to get. And some of that stuff is so creative. Like, even Dragon Punk, for instance. Like, that, they're, like, so creative. And it's so different. It's so much fun. So, I mean, yeah. I just, I love that Ragnarok's developing and growing. And who knows what the heck they're going to throw in eventually. It's just... I don't know, really exciting. I love this. This is so pretty because you can kind of see little bits and pieces of, you know, the lower levels. And then this, you know, pretty much looks like scorched earth to me. Just kind of making my rounds here. I do like that there's so much water. Like, running out of water is not going to be the same issue like in scorched. Like, scorched earth is a nightmare when it comes to water. I just remember dying like every few feet in Scorched Earth in the very beginning. It was, like, traumatic. I had never died so many times. Even when I started the island, I never died as much as I did when I started Scorched Earth. I was so, like, really... Ugh, that map drove me crazy. But then you get, you know, a higher level, and you get built up, and then, and then it's cake. You pretty much know what you need to do. All right, so let's look. I see a lot of metal. I wonder if this is that metal spawn. There's a lot of metal over here, guys. So, yeah, I, this is going to be a great place. It's just the only thing bad about this map being so large is getting to and from places, you know, like going to get metal and stuff and then carrying it back because Quetzas are slow. They used to be so much faster when we could change the speed. Okay, so this looks like this is a pretty solid metal spawn here. Let's see. Let me get a little closer. Let's look around. And there we got some dodickies. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of metal here. Oh, little jerboa. Oh, so cute. All right, so we got obsidian. We've got metal. Ooh, a water vein right in the middle. Oh, okay. So let's try this. See, yeah, whoever builds here is going to lock this area down. Oh, boy. Yeah, guys, uh... I don't know who wants to protect it, but you may want to consider putting in your pillars before somebody screws up the metal spawn. I know that's, like, terrible to, like, say, oh, yeah, basically pillar it off to protect it. But honestly, I think spawns like this should be where you can't build. That drives me crazy. It's kind of like when the volcano used to be the spot when, you know, on the island and you would go there and you people would screw it up. They would build there. And then, of course, on my server, we actually blocked it off with pillars. I know people hate that, but it's the only way to protect it so they people don't mess it up. Like, I don't understand some people, like, you see that it's a metal spawn, and yet you build there. It's like, come on, guys. Like, really? You don't need to do that. All right, so let's go over here. This is kind of like, stands out on the horizon when you're flying around the desert. Nothing all that exciting here. Oh, it's a spino spawn. I never appreciated spinos until now when, of course, the spawns are much less than they used to be. That one's pretty. That one's red. That's very interesting. All right, so let's see what's over here. 
This is pretty. This is really nice. Alright, so let's go this way. Everything keeps falling off. That's so funny. And I don't know if you noticed, as we've been flying around, there's a lot of really flat areas. That's, that's really convenient. Because then you don't have to deal with all the extra, you know, building nonsense. On our personal server, we actually added uh, Structures Plus to the, you know, as a mod for our server. And man, Structures Plus is awesome, guys. Like, I wish they would have that on official. That would make everyone's life so much easier. Like, Structures Plus is unbelievably awesome. Just some of the features. All right, so I'm at the wall. Okay, so now we know exactly where the wall goes still. This area is not very pretty. It's just very plain, deserty. I'm not really feeling this area as much. The other areas, they just seem really nice. But as you can see here, there is a ton of flat areas. They weren't kidding. Look at all this. Yeah, building on this part is going to be really awesome. Look at that. That looks really nice. Let's see if we can find the wall. Okay, here's, here's the wall. The barrier goes right up to here. Okay. Yeah, that looks really, really awesome, and it goes all the way through. It reminds me of the Grand Canyon. There's some beautiful places. Okay, so let's fly back this way. Kind of give you another view from this side. Look at this little road. Oh, wow, check that out. I bet you could build at the one end and block it off, and that would be a great base. All the different plateaus. I really, really like this expansion. This is really nice. This is way better than I expected. I guess I should have expected it. I mean, because honestly, the Ragnarok devs are pretty awesome, and they're very creative. So, you know, I am wrong. It should have, you know... I should have expected it to look cool. And I think, actually, they outdid themselves on this. All right, so let's go at the top and see if I can get, like, an even better view. I didn't fly on my wyvern this time, so you guys would actually get, like, a better view, and I didn't want to, like... Oh, it's raining. I'll check it out. So, yeah, I'm trying this a little bit different. Been learning, you know, how to try to do, you know, exploration and tours of things, so hopefully I'm getting a little bit better at this. It's a learning process. Ooh, look at how flat it is up here. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, so I can't see a thing, so I'm going to have to wait. I don't know about you, but do you think the fog is more, uh, do you think it's actually worse in Ragnarok than any of the other maps? Because, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it just feels like that it's worse on Ragnarok. And I apologize in advance, guys, I'm sick, so I'm, like, I can't hardly breathe. So I apologize right now if I sound crazy because I can't breathe. Alright, so let's just run down the mountain. I love that about the boots. Have you ever guys tried this? Like, this is so much fun. Just running down the stuff with these boots, the tech boots. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's basically, you know, the gist of the new expansion. Of course, if I missed any areas, I apologize. I was trying to show, you know, aerial views of the entire thing. So I really hope that, you know, this was helpful and you guys actually go check it out yourself. And if you haven't already and you're on PC, you guys should stop by our new server. And let's uh, have some fun in PvP. So until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.